Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at controller support for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And today I'm going to show you basically every single method there is to work around or fix controller issues. Hopefully this is going to fix your issue too. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but you'll be really helping to support this channel and the work that I do. So if you've been using the M1 Mac for a while, you'll know that controller support has been a bit hit and miss. Apple have been a bit slow to add support for some of the newer controllers, for example, the Xbox Series controller, or the PlayStation DualSense controller. These came a little bit late and in a recent update of macOS Monterey 12.3, it actually broke a whole load of controller support too, but this was fixed in the latest version at the time of recording, which is 12.3.1. However, there are plenty of games which don't have consistent controller support. And today I'm gonna to show you how to work around and fix almost every single controller issue that you can have on the Mac. So the very first thing we're going to be looking at is a free piece of software called Enjoyable, which functions a bit like Joy to Key does on Windows and allows the controller to be mapped to certain keyboard presses. So this is going to be able to fix a lot of issues with most games. So the game that I'm going to be demonstrating today is called Celeste, and this is a bit notorious for having multiple controller issues. So you'll see that the Xbox One controller is paired by Bluetooth and this is working just fine. However, I also have my Xbox Series controller attached and this is not working. And also my DualSense controller is not working despite the fact that it's also paired. So what I'm gonna do is to leave a link in the description for this particular website. We're gonna download Enjoyable 1.2.zip. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna double click on Enjoyable to extract it and we'll get the Enjoyable application file. We're gonna move it into the applications folder and then let go. Then within our applications folder, we're gonna to go to Enjoyable and hold down the control key and then click on Enjoyable and then press open. And then we're gonna be able to manually open this file even though it's not been verified. So here I'll press open. And what you'll see here is that we have all of our paired controllers listed on the left hand side here. And basically what we wanna do is to remap them onto keyboard keys. So this really works best if the game that you're trying to run is fully playable on keyboard or has very simple mouse movements. So basically we're going to remap the controller so that it performs certain keyboard functions and therefore we can work around this issue where Celeste is not detecting this particular controller. So the first button I'm gonna assign is the jump key. So I'm gonna put that onto A and basically that corresponds to jump here, which is a C, so I'm going to press C here. Here I'm going to select dash, so I'm going to press the B key here for dash, and dash is X, I'm going to press X here to correspond to that. Now I'm going to press the grab button, I'm going to use the X key on my controller, and then I'm going to assign it to the V key here. I'm also going to reassign the D-pad here, so I'm going to press up here, so that corresponds to the hat switch. Basically I'm going to use the top cursor key here, then down, left, right. And a very basic way, we've remapped the controller to the keyboard. As soon as I try to use the controller, it's asking us to open up the accessibility features. So just do that. Open system preferences, click on your padlock, use your password, and then make sure that Enjoyable has full access to your computer. So we're gonna be able to enter those key presses into the window. And now if I press the A button, that's all working. So in reality, it's not really pressing the A using X input. What it's really doing is that it's entering keyboard presses. So if I press the A button here, it's actually pressing the C key. And this is just pressing different keyboard combinations using the controller buttons. So I can now go ahead and play this game as normal. And I've worked around this whole controller issue. So this is all working correctly now. So the Enjoyable Fix also works for other types of software too, including emulators. So I'm just gonna show you how that works. So for example, the emulator RPCS3 only supports DualSense or DualShock 4 controllers. And if you have another type of controller, for example, an Xbox One controller or an Xbox Series controller, then those are not gonna work with RPCS3 at the moment. So now I'm gonna do a very similar thing using the Xbox Series controller with an emulator like RPCS3. So if we go to the pad section of RPCS3, you'll go to the handler section here. And there are actually only three types of controller supported. DualShock 3, DualShock 4, and DualSense, all of the Sony controllers. However, we can use Enjoyable to use remapping so that each of these keys presses a keyboard button. So if I switch the keyboard layout here onto handlers, then you'll see that we have a full keyboard layout here. So that means that all of these keyboard keys correspond to DualShock controls. And all we're gonna do is go ahead and remap them. I've got Enjoyable on the left here. I'm just gonna press some of the basic buttons here. So I'm gonna press up. So this up button here corresponds to the D-pad. I'm gonna press up here, down, press down, left, left, right, right. So that's the D-pad configured. Then we're gonna do the face buttons too. So we're gonna do A corresponds to X, X corresponds to Z, Y corresponds to V, B corresponds to C. So that's all the face buttons here. I'm gonna do the start button here as well. That corresponds to return. 
We can also do the left stick as well. So if I press the stick on the left, that corresponds to axis one low. So that actually means the A key here. And then the right hand side is the opposite. So that's the D key. Up is W and down is S. So that's the left stick. And you can go ahead and finish all of that rebinding, but I'm gonna click save here. So now that I've got the controller set up with enjoyable and all of the keyboard buttons are mapped to here, then I can actually play using the Xbox controller, which wasn't possible before. So as you can see, it works fine. And uh, this is quite interesting because RPCS3 does not officially support this controller yet. However, we're able to get it working using Enjoyable. So what I'm gonna do now is show you a method of getting some Steam games working like Celeste using controllers that it's not supported for. So here I'm just demonstrating that despite being paired, the Xbox Series controller is still not working with Celeste. So the trick here is what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Steam and we're gonna quit Steam so that it shuts down completely. So just make sure that the Steam icon on the dock has no dot underneath it so it's not loaded in the background. Then I'm gonna disconnect Bluetooth. So I'm gonna turn Bluetooth off. Then I'm gonna open up Steam again. And then I'm gonna open up big picture mode. So I'm gonna press big picture mode here. So once big picture mode is opened up, I'm gonna go back to my desktop here with the four finger swipe. I'm gonna make sure that Bluetooth is turned on and that my Xbox controller has been turned on as well. And this has now got a pairing relationship back again. I'm gonna go back to my library and then I'm gonna find the game that we wanna play, Celeste. Then we're going to manage game and then click on controller options. We wanna make sure that the Steam input setting per game is forced off and press okay. Then we're gonna launch the game and press play. So this has now loaded the window for Celeste. So as you can see, I'm trying to press A to get past this menu, but it's not working. So what I'm gonna do is to press Shift and Tab here. Then we're gonna to go to Controller Options, and we're gonna make sure that this is forced on, and then go down and press OK. Shift Tab here, and then we are in the game, and we're now able to get this working using the Xbox Series controller and this is all working as normal as it should be. And you know, this is a method of how to get games working with controllers that it isn't actually supported for. So this is a very cool workaround. So the last fix we're gonna talk about is using a controller paired wirelessly with Parallels running Windows 11 ARM. So if you didn't already know, it's possible to run Windows 11 ARM in parallel with the macOS operating system. And if you wanna find out how to do that, then please follow the link in the description. One of the issues is that we can't pair controllers wirelessly using Bluetooth. That's because there's something wrong with the Bluetooth sharing module on Windows on Parallels. It does work if you restart the computer and you start up Parallels and you pair it for the first time, but as soon as you leave it for a little while, it will lose connection and you won't be able to repair again. So I'm going to show you a solution for that. So the first workaround is going to be to use a wire. So if I use a cable to plug in my controller and then I plug in the other side into my Mac, this is automatically going to detect the USB controller and I can pair it with my Windows 11 drive. So if I click on Windows 11 here and click allow, then if I go to gamepadtester.com, then I can see that we have a standard Xbox controller attached. However, if you really wanted to make sure that we use this wirelessly, what we're gonna do is show you a new method to do that. First, we're gonna make sure that our controller is gonna be paired to the Bluetooth side on macOS. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the App Store and we're gonna download Steam Link. So this is the streaming application which is gonna allow you to connect the macOS side to the Windows side. So we're gonna download Steam Link here. So now we're gonna press the open button to open up Steam Link. Here we're gonna press get started. And here we're gonna press other computer. And now we've got this number. We're gonna to go to the Windows Steam side. So we're gonna open up Steam on the Windows 11 ARM on Parallels. We're gonna to go to settings and then remote play. Then we're gonna click on pair Steam link and then we're gonna enter that authorization code and press okay. And then we're gonna go back to Steam link here. We're gonna click on computer. Then this is gonna be Steam running through Windows 11 ARM on Parallels. So we're gonna select this one. And then we're gonna click the cog button here. Then we're gonna click streaming. And what we wanna do is we don't wanna have the added latency of video. We're gonna turn that off because we don't need it. We don't need audio, we don't need microphone, but we do wanna keep the input button on. Now we we'll go back and all we have to do now is to press the start playing button and then we're gonna to connect to Windows 11 Arm Steam. So now I've loaded up the stream. Because I've turned the video and audio off, I can't actually see anything at all, but I can see the overlay. But that's not what I'm interested in. What I'm gonna do is four finger swipe to the Windows side. And now because I'm Steam linked in with the controller, I can actually control everything here wirelessly. So here we're running the Windows version of Celeste. We're running it wirelessly through Windows 11 ARM. So you can see the desktop here. And we're running it through the Steam link clients. We're streaming it and it's accepting all of the macOS inputs. So this fix is basically gonna work for every 
single Steam game that runs through Windows 11 ARM. Anyway, I hope you found these three fixes helpful. I know that it probably covers most controller issues, but maybe not every single one. If you do find a controller issue or fix that isn't covered in the video, then please make sure to leave a comment. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.